Hey guys, it's Jess Snipper and I am back with another bullet journal video for you today. Uh, yesterday I uploaded my moving into my new journal video, so today I am back with my October plan with me. Now last month I did something that was popular culture related and I am back doing that again. Last month it was Attack on Titan, my favourite anime series of all time, and this month is my new favourite book series of all time. It's right up there with Skullduggery Pleasant, if anyone knows that you know how good of a series it is. Uh, this spread is set up with the Throne of Glass books in mind by Sarah J Mass. Now if you haven't read Throne of Glass, basically the series follows a young assassin called Selena. She is imprisoned in a salt mine because she was basically the best assassin on the continent and she is released from prison to compete to become the king's champion and the series follows her throughout her adventures. It is such a good series, the characters are amazing, I love Selena and all of the people that she meets along the way, they are just absolutely incredible but I can't go into too much without spoilers because oh my goodness there are some big reveals in the first few books. So all I will say is that it definitely gets the Jess stamp of approval and that if you like fantasy you should definitely go and watch it because it is incredible but for this cover page I've used my Tombow Food no Suke hard tipped brush pen to write out October in calligraphy and then using my Hobbycraft fine liners again to draw out the Amulet of Orin which is a major item in the series from about the third book it gets mentioned onwards and this is basically an heirloom of the kingdom of Terrasen which is where Selena is from and on it is the Lord of the North, the stag, with the eternal flame burning between his antlers, and oh my god, I love the lore in this series. But I'm using a mixture of different sizes, so my 0.05, I think my 03 as well, um, Hobbycraft fine liners to add the details, and I initially outlined the stag in black like I did with the actual amulet, but I ended up thinking maybe I could do this slightly differently because the actual amulet is, so it's cerulean blue, with a white stag and gold basically outlining the stag and I was like I have a gold jelly roll will this work will the lines be too thick so I initially outlined it in my 0.05 as you can see me doing and then I decided maybe I should do like the highlights in gold so it's like catching the light but then I just decided eh I'm just going to go in and outline the stag fully in gold, so you'll see that in a second. This is really therapeutic actually to draw out. All of the drawings in this, I will admit, are, are traced because my artistry is not that good and with something so recognisable I wanted to get it spot on. So the amulet is a tracing, um, but I'm still really pleased with how it turned out. Then on the other side of the spread I've got nameless is my price and some word marks. These are the actual word marks that appear on the back of the amulet and they actually spell out nameless is my price according to the law. <laughs> and they also appear on the sword that you can see. I basically drew this sword for my month at a glance. I traced it from an image of an actual necklace pendant which was released. The sword is Damaris and the sword belonged to the first king of Ardalan, which is the kingdom where the book takes place initially. So I'm just drawing out my daily boxes. These are six by six. And then once again using my Tombow Food no Suke to write out October in calligraphy and just going over my downward strokes because I'm still not great with this pen and I'm just making them a little bit thicker so that the downward strokes really stand out a lot more. Then I went in and worked on Damaris after putting in the day headers and I just put the starting letter of each month and a little circle with this blue pen that kind of matched the crayon that I used on the amulet on the other page. I used a pencil on the other side just because I was very aware of shadowing and bleeding so I decided not to do that in pen and then just use pen for the rest of the spreads. Then I'm going in with my 03 on Damaris and initially on my in my Dingbats notebook, if you saw my video yesterday, you'll see that I initially started setting up my October spreads in my old Dingbats, but I really didn't like how it was turning out. I initially did Damaris in full colour, because it's supposed to have like a silvery gold sort of sheen to it, and because I didn't have anything that sort of colour, I just used my silver and gold jelly roll, and it really didn't look right, but I just rolled with it until I just gave up. <laughs> completely, if that makes sense. But I'm just using my 005 now to cross hatch some shading so it looks a bit more 3D and 
yeah, I'm really pleased with how Damara's actually turned out. I like the simplicity of this month at a glance, and then I just added the word marks again, moved my camera around, <laughs> and then just went in and put the numbers on my daily boxes in that little circle of blue. And you'll see this blue quite a bit throughout the month. Blue and grey tend to be my accent colours with this theme. And then I put in my birthday, my best friend's birthday, and Halloween, because it's the spookiest time of the year. And of course, Drag Race UK started. So of course I was going to put that in because, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> the next two spreads are my budget spreads. These haven't really changed that much in the last few months. I don't think they've changed in about a year. But again, using my Tombow to set up the title, which is just, as you can see, budget. And then I've also got a savings table, kind of exactly the same as my expenses tracker, which is on the right hand spread. Basically, it has a date column, a plus or minus, it's mostly going to be plus, and then the amount in the third column. Um, that's going to track how much goes into my savings. And then you, what you can see me doing now is setting up my boxes for my expected and actual income, my bills table, and then just going around the rest of my table, so my savings table, and then my um, expenses on the other side. And I love the simplicity of this. I've got all these little modules that kind of work together, and it's taken me a while to really find out what works for me, but this sort of layout really works for me. And you can see down in, underneath my bills table there's a little doodle that I will be doing in a second but I'm just using that blue again as my accent color and coloring in the tops of my tables that blue and it's a gorgeous pen Mariette bless her she knows me too well my old housemate she got me loads of bullet journal supplies for my birthday and oh my goodness literally after five years she knows me better than I know myself and <laughs> it's scary. I'd been eyeing this sort of pen set up for ages and she just decided, nope, that's Jess's birthday present sorted. <laughs> then I took the pencil that I used earlier and I'm coloring in this stag design. I again found this on Pinterest. It's a common design that I'd seen quite a bit and I've done it as like an ombre, so fading out. And the quote inside says, the stag, the Lord of the North. So the people of Terrason will always know how to find their way home so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and know Terrason is forever with them. It's kind of like a little feel good mantra that um, is what the Lord of the North represents and you'll see Selena often looking to the star, the constellation of the stag and rem remembering that home, that Terrison is that way. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the stag. I really like this. Again, it was traced and I put the text in by eye because this was an actual image I found on Pinterest. So I copied the text in by eye and it was really difficult actually to fit all of the words in. On to the next page, this is my habits and mood tracker and this one I wanted to do slightly differently. So my habits are pretty much exactly the same but I've got more, I've got 12 habits that I'm tracking this month and they are awake by 9, in bed by 12, ate breakfast, washed hair, skincare, in pain because since I sprained my ankle back in May, um, I severely sprained my ankle, I thought I'd broken it, I spent like six hours in A&E, but that's another story. Um, I fell against a door frame and I put my hands out and I've jarred my back. And now I found out that my doctor is sending me for an x-ray of my pelvis, an ultrasound of my spine and has referred me for physio. So I'm definitely tracking days that I am in pain <laughs> from my back. It is really painful, I get sciatica, I get tension in my back. Oh, I feel like I'm 84, not 24, let's just say that. But I'm also tracking when I read, when I study, when I write my books, when I water my cacti, because I'm actually keeping my cacti alive this time, guys. I'm doing it. When I post to Instagram and when I work out. And then just use that blue again to do the backdrop for the titles. And I'm also using it to colour in when I've done a habit. On the right hand page is my mood tracker. And I wanted to go back to another geometric design because it's been a while. I think my last one was in February. And this one is a wyvern. And for those of you who know Throne of Glass, um, and for those of you that haven't read it and want to know, wyverns and witches, they are a massive part of the story from the third book, Air of Fire, onwards. And you know, I had to get a little Abraxos in there because for those of you who don't know the series, he's basically toothless, um, this little wyvern. He is a precious cat and I love him. So I had to get some reference to the witches and their mounts in and 
yeah, I absolutely love how this geometric wyvern turned out. Again, I went on Pinterest and I traced an image of a geometric, it was a dragon. So basically what, ha what I did was I just ignored the front feet because dragons have four feet, wyverns have two legs. So yeah, I just went around, I basically drew, I traced the geometric design exactly as it was on my computer screen. Yes, I trace on my computer screen, I live on the edge. <laughs> Um, I just traced out all of the sections and then I just decided to keep certain ones to colour in throughout the month, if that makes any sense. You'll see me rubbing out loads of lines um, here and there, so it took me a while to narrow down to 31 segments because I didn't want like really tiddly little ones that are not worth colouring in because by the time I put the date in there it basically fills the space. <laughs> So you'll see me trying to count out exactly the, the right number of sections. It took me a long, long ass time. But yeah, then I moved on to my key and I tried to keep it to the Wyvern style colors because the Wyverns tend to be either black or blue or sky blue to blend in with their surroundings. I kind of went with grays and blues and yeah i like the way that it looks currently as i'm coloring in my mood tracker it's actually looking really pretty so yeah i love it sometimes i've had two different moods in a day and yeah it looks really good then i'm moving on to my instagram planner i started using this red last month and i really actually enjoyed using it it helped me come up with ideas and it forced me to use instagram a lot more if you didn't know i'm taking my bullet journal Instagram a little bit more seriously. I'm posting a lot more often. I'm actually doing Inktober at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna do every single prompt because some of them make me think that I would need to draw people and drawing people really isn't my strong suit. So I'm only gonna do the ones that I really have a clear idea. I'm doing a Skullduggery Pleasant themed one by the Skullduggery Pleasant fan club um, Twitter and Instagram handle I know that they're on. So I'm doing their prompt list and I've had some really good feedback on what I've done so far. If you want to check out my Instagram, it is journal underscore with underscore Jess, journal with Jess, and I will link that always in the description below, but I just did 31 boxes and set that up. On the right-hand side of the page, I have a quote, and these are the witches in question. We are the 13 from now until the darkness claims us. This is kind of their mantra. This is the main coven that Manon is from and Abraxos obviously flies with them. So the 13 are 13 witches. There are the Iron Teeth and the Crocken witches in Throne of Glass. The Crockens are peace loving and they annoy the Iron Teeth to no end. The Crockens curse the Iron Teeth. There's a lot of backstory but the 13 are the most feared coven of iron teeth witches they are the black beaks there are also the yellow legs and the blue bloods there's like loads of clan rivalry but i'm just pasting this little doodle in that i cut out from my original spreads in my dingbats this is the braxos again the general outline of him was taken from a photo i found on pinterest a sketch of a dragon and i just kind of adapted it for myself i outlined him in my 0.1 fine liner and then did a lot of the detailing actually in black crayon in black pencil and again I really like how it turned out because the Braxos is very very scarred and I realized this as I was um, sketching him out I was like ah dang it now I've got to do scars how am I going to do that on black he also has a lot of his spikes missing so he's he's a bit battered and bruised bless him but he's he's still fighting he's a little fighter he's a trooper so yeah i just did some of the details in the fine liner like the scales down the neck and then the scars i actually did in my black pencil and i colored it in colored him in lightly and then decided now nah, i'm going to do the scars first and then go over them so i went over my pencil lines initially my black pencil kept breaking you can see the leg kept breaking it was so annoying um, I have not dropped these pencils at all and most of them are already split and I'm so annoyed uh, they weren't that expensive but still it's the principle of the thing so I was going over it and it's still quite light so you'll see me going back over everything in a second just to make everything a little bit, little bit darker and a little bit more pow because Abraxos is a black wyvern so I was just like it needs to be a little bit darker here and 
yeah, you can see me going over the scars a little bit more pressure and also going over um, the shaping around his eye a little bit. But yeah, that's my quotes page, nice and simple. At the top, I've got a silhouette of a wyvern, which again is just a tracing of an image that I found on the internet. And I just decided to go over that with um, my fine liner. And then I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna color it completely in black. And I used, again, one of the pens that Mariette got me for my birthday. She knows me far, far too well. And just did it as a black silhouette. And I think that's really, really effective. It's really punchy. And yeah, it was so much fun just thinking what I could do with these spreads because there's so many different parts of this series that I want to encapsulate in all my weekly spreads that I don't think I'm gonna be able to and there's just so many amazing characters that I want to pay homage to. So for my first weekly spread, I decided to take the front cover of the fourth book, Queen of Shadows, which has Aelin Galathinius on the front cover. And I basically traced again around the front cover and did a very basic colouring in job and created a Dutch door spread because I've really been enjoying Dutch doors and I thought I didn't know really what I was going to stick on the back of that Dutch door to start with but um, I just went with it anyway. I've got my little month at a glance in the top right hand corner of the left spread and then I went in with my red pen because she's wearing a red cloak on the cover of the book. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the folds of the cape but you'll see me go back in later with a white gel pen and I did the same for the black and grey on her suit so you'll see me penciling in the grey on her suit right now and also the tops of her boots because I was like ah how am I going to do this? <laughs> so I went in with the black and just outlined everything that was going to be in black and then I coloured in the grey sections of her suit. And then I also got a dual brush pen because this is the perfect brown. This is a WH Smith dual brush pen but I coloured in her boots dark brown. They're not really dark brown on the cover, they're black like the rest of the suit but I thought I want a little bit of differentiation. And then I just coloured in the rest of the suit completely black. Um, I didn't bother with any detailing, I just wanted it kind of like a silhouette, like the image I traced from. And here is where I started hitting the issue of, oh I don't have different shades of black, how am I going to make stuff show up? So I did go back in with a white gel pen and just highlight everything. So I did the elbow pad and um, the shoulder pad and the arm. I think it's, it's a lot more striking with that. Then I went back in with the red and did the cape exactly the same way and just coloured the whole thing in and then added the white for the highlights. I really liked how this Dutch door spread turned out. I was inspired by some that I've been seeing on the Scribbles That Matter Instagram handle. They've been sharing what people who use their journals do with them and I saw some really beautiful Dutch door spreads with like beautiful bird paintings on them and I was like I really want to try something like that and stick something on the back of it so like I stuck my trackers on the back of mine and um, I'm really pleased with how Aelin turned out. I was originally planning on maybe having like a fire magic behind her but I thought nah, it's too much. <laughs> it takes away useful space. On the left hand side of the spread, on the right hand side of the page, I've got a little weekly events tab. I like having this tab sometimes um, so that I can plan out events further ahead if I'm doing this kind of free form layout where I don't have set boxes for each daily. Um, I just use as much space as I need to. Then I moved on to the back of my Dutch door and I've got a quote from Queen of Shadows on the left hand side which is appropriate because it's from the book that that image is from. And then on the right hand side of it I've got my trackers and I outlined the Dutch door itself so I've got an outline to keep my trackers separate from my dailies and again using my Tombow for the title Monday and also the title for my trackers. And beneath that I've got a tracker for when I was taking my antibiotics. Then I've got my regular inhaler, contraceptive pill and antidepressant tracker. And I really like keeping track. My inhaler I especially need to keep, tra keep track of because I'm such a bad asthmatic, I don't take it. Uh, then I've got a sleep and a drink tracker, so making sure I keep drinking enough water and how much I'm sleeping. Then on the other page is elegant, feminine and utterly wild, warm, steadfast, unbreakable, his queen from Queen of Shadows and I cannot for the life of me remember who says it. 
I found that on Goodreads. And yeah, that's all that I filmed for this plan with me. Obviously, I'm into the second week now of October, and I am loving this theme. My second week I've done Wyvern themed, so yeah. So yeah, this is my October plan with me, slightly late, but you can blame um, the ear infection for that. <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I do loads of bullet journal videos. I do one a month at least. You can check out my 2019 playlist in the description below. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment um, if you have any specific themes that you'd like to see me do, or if uh, you have anything you'd like to tell me about this video, please leave it in the comments. I love a good natter. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.